When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. When the heaven is open, the enemies are arrested. He said, and he shall give deli great deliverance to his king, great deliverance to his people. But for the great deliverance to come, for heaven to open, and the earth open a mouth to swallow your enemies, there must be a sacrifice. Tell your neighbor, there must be a sacrifice. Tell your neighbor, there must be a sacrifice. A sacrifice of praise. And that is why the Father said to Joshua, for you to possess the land, go round it seven times. At the seven times, blow the trumpet. Hallelujah. At the seven times, blow the trumpet. People of God, today should be a day of praising. The day we praise our God like never before. So that he can release that great deliverance that he given to the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. The great deliverance. Tell your neighbor the great deliverance. Say to your neighbor, great deliverance. Say to your other neighbor, great deliverance. Say to yourself, great deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to look at one thing. Let us look at Revelation chapter 4, verse number 1. Let us look at Revelation chapter 4, verse number 1. I see something taking place in your life today. Tell the neighbor, I see something happening today. Speak to your neighbor, say, neighbor, I see something happening today. Say to your other neighbor, I see something happening to your life today. Say to yourself, I see something happening to me today. Hallelujah. Say, I see my situation change. Say, I see a turn around in my situation. Say, I see a turn around in my finances. Say, I watch my deliverance. Say, I am pregnant. I am pregnant. I have been pregnant. I have been pregnant. And this is my ninth month. This is my ninth month. Say, I have been pregnant. I have been pregnant. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And here I come into September, my ninth month of delivery. My ninth month, my ninth month, my ninth month. So people of God, the Lord take me to the book of Revelation chapter number four. When I look at number one, I, verse number one, I shout, hallelujah. I shout, can someone read it? After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me saying, come up here and I'll show you things which must take place after this. People of God, you know what I mean? When you look and you see a door standing open in heaven, that is what I saw. That is what I saw. And during this time, the ninth month, I see a woman giving birth. I see someone testifying of, of healing, deliverance, salvation, open doors, good jobs, good contract, marriages, retentive memory restored, family restored, finances restored, health restored, businesses restored in this nine months. Can I hear you say that is me? Say that is my prophecy. Say that is my prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, I looked and behold, I saw a door open in heaven. Open in heaven. So for us to say that this month is a month of divine open heaven. Divine open heaven. Means whether you like it or not, something has to happen. Yes, go ahead. Immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one set on the throne. Behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. The one that sat on the throne is the one that have the key of the David, the key of the kingdom, the key to open and no one shut, the one that shut and no one open. in the name of Jesus Christ. I wanted to have this at the back of your mind. I was in the spirit. Hallelujah. So today, I want you to be in the spirit to receive. 
I want you to be in the spirit for this change to take place in your life. I want you to be in the spirit for you to experience a great turnaround in your situation. So you have to be in the spirit. Remember, it's only in the spirit can man know God. No man know God in flesh. So I want you to be in the spirit today. Tell him about being in the spirit. Tell your other about being in the spirit. Tell yourself, I will be in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now let us turn to Psalm 149. We commence from verse number one. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Let them sing praises to him with a timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Amen. Lord. I wanted to get something that happened this morning. When the praises was going on, something happened. When the evangelist was preaching, I don't know whether you understand that message. The title of the message. Say, I'm open heart. I'm open heart. I'm open mind. Give bent and open heaven. An open mind is what caused heaven to open. Hallelujah. He narrated it. He took it page by page. Praise the Lord. How the Israelites was besieged. And the gate was closed. And they began to dwell in a closed heaven. And when the mother came, mama came out, she said, there is a, an open heaven and there is a closed heaven as well. There's an open heaven and there is a closed heaven. Tell your neighbor, say there is open heaven. And there is also a closed heaven. Hallelujah. The same thing applies to us. There is an open mind and there is a closed mind. Tell your neighbor, there is an open mind and there is a closed mind. Say to your neighbor again, there is an open heart and there is a closed heart. Hallelujah. Tell him there is a man of God and there is a man of the devil. What do I mean? Wickedness is real. But more real is our Lord Jesus Christ. More real is the power given to us from above. So when you look at that chapter 149 of the book of Psalm, you realize that something happened. But before I go further, do not sit down. Say, Father, I stand here before your throne of mercy. On this ninth month, the first day of the ninth month, I come before you, the King of Kings. I stand before you, my Lord and my Savior. On this day, O oh Lord, let your mercy and favor speak for me. Say, Father, here I stand before you. I stand, O oh Lord. Father, I have been pregnant beginning from this first month of this year, 2024. To this day, the ninth month, Father, it is time for me to give birth. It is time for me to deliver. It is time for people to see a change in my life and to know that I serve you, O Holy Father. To know that I am your child. 
to know there is no other God beside you. Say, I am blessed above my equal. Say, I am blessed in this land in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I claim the wealth of this land, the gold of this land. I claim the diamonds of this land in the name of Jesus Christ. No power can stop me by my word. No spirit can stop me. No angel can stop me because I am the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. Say thank you, Father. Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and appreciate him for it is done. The Bible says, and Jesus Christ give thanks. Hallelujah. He give thanks. So we give thanks before the celebration. Amen. People of God, may you be wonderfully seated. When you look at your circumstances, when you look at your situation, you'll be distracted. Circumstances distract you, but Heavenly Father never distract you. That's why you have to look unto heaven at all times. They look around and say, Luxton, if we wait here, we die. If we go back, we die. Tell your neighbor, go forward. Tell yourself, I will go forward. Say, forward ever in my life. I'm backward never. Say, forward ever in my life. I'm backward never. Say it again. Say forward ever in my life. I'm backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, they made a quality decision to move forward. 